Here I have an interesting little AI agent. Uh, let's first ask it to list all functions. Speak out loud and clear. List all of your functions. I'm just using voice once, I'm going to be writing afterwards. Here's a list of all the functions I can execute for you. Search for a function, scrape URL, search the web, generate images, search for hotels, search for patents, search for flights, search for jobs, search for scholar articles using Google, search for videos using YouTube, search for products on eBay, search for news using Google, search for images using Google. If you need more details about any specific function, feel free to ask. So now it's uh, reaching out to eBay and it's actually searching for products matching my query. My query, of course, being Alto Socks. So it's obviously going to find me Alto Saxophones uh, for sale at uh, eBay. And uh, when it is done, you can see that uh, it gives me five suggestions. Now I can ask it for to scrape one of the product pages it uh, found and return all of its details. And as you can see, here is uh, everything eBay knows about this particular saxophone. Let's say I want to have additional information about this guy, okay? So now it's searching out uh, on the web for Buffett Super Dyna Action Alto Sox 1957. And it's uh, giving me a summary. And uh, then I can continue asking questions. And here you can see its uh, conclusion. Now let's say, uh, <clears throat> I want to uh, find more images about it. And here you can see some random images found at Google for this particular saxophone. The point is that uh, your graphical user interface is using an API. And that's its uh, bottleneck. Uh, every single software system more or less uh, built uh, the last 20 years are using APIs. So they have like a front end part and a back end part. And the LLM can just as well consume that API as your GUI, your graphical user interface. And uh, an LLM can consume multiple APIs, allowing it to connect to multiple different services, right? You, you saw me how I searched for a saxophone on eBay, and then I used Google Image Search to search for images, and then I used DuckDuckGo to search for uh, reviews about the saxophone. Now, this implies that uh, about 80% of uh, everything I've done personally as an enterprise software developer the last 27 years, actually, can easily be exchanged with an AI agent. And uh, if you do, you will experience uh, additional value benefits from your software system. I'm using SERP API here, but really you can use any API. So if you are an enterprise software developer and you already have an existing, well-established, uh, good API, you can just as easily wrap that one inside of an AI agent. And I need to emphasize I spent like, you know, some few hours implementing this, right? 
in total. So it's not going to be perfect and I'm using a free SERP API account. It only gives me like a hundred searches per month for something. But um, imagine what you would end up uh, with if you spent a couple of months or years instead of uh, a couple of hours like I did. And then extrapolate into the future, uh, the growth of uh, current LLMs over the last two years and try to imagine how powerful these guys will be a couple of years down the road. That basically means that software development as we know it, at the very least the bulk of it, is about to drastically change and completely change where we're no longer interested in creating and implementing rich graphical user interfaces, but rather would heavily rely upon AI agents, possibly implemented using speech recognition and text-to-speech and technologies such as that. And that means that uh, software, as you know it, is dead.